Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to the beautiful city of Manila. Okay, let's rewind a little bit here. As some of you may have seen in our First Impressions Manila video, Jose and I didn't exactly leave all warm and fuzzy inside. Now, now, that's not because of Manila or the people of Manila, because overall, we did have a great time. But we did have some interactions that left us feeling not so great. And unfortunately, sometimes those interactions can overshadow. However, we refused to let our first impressions be our last impressions. And let's just say, guys, we're so glad we didn't. Okay, now we can continue and see how Manila Part 2 plays out. In action. We figured before we venture out to the hustle and bustle, we pay respects to this beautiful metal steel church that's right in front of us. One of our subscribers recommended it. It's the uh, St. Sebastian Church, by the way. Um, thank you to whoever mm -hmm. did. We are so glad we came, guys. It doesn't matter. Every time I go into a church, I just get this overwhelming feeling of gratitude and I cry. <laughs> oh, babe. Um, but I do, and um, it takes it on an emotional roller coaster, guys, every time. Here I am. Just to give you guys a little history of the church, it opened up in 1621 and in the year of 1891, they wanted to maintain its beauty and the work that was put into it. So that's where they started to add the metal component to the church. We know you might be expecting an adventure. This kind of is an adventure. Like these are, these are places and things that we like to do also in the middle of doing all this. So for those of you that keep continuing recommending churches, keep them coming any type of recommendation, but thank you for like appreciating it with us. Off the Chinatown, guys. Off the Chinatown. Yeah. And of course we're gonna write the sky over here. I see a sky with a rain here car but I'm not running. I see a train rolling all too fast but I bet you can't guess where we're at. <laughs> guys, look behind us. Where are we at, Jose? We are at the oldest Chinatown here in the Philippines, and we couldn't be any more excited. Guys, we're ready. Let's just go, <laughs> let's just go see what we can find. There's like so much energy here. Oh my God. Can we try, which one do you want to try? Let's try the Japanese for sure. Can we try the Japanese? Japanese. Yeah. So we got some Japanese goizos. I'm not sure what it is actually. Alright. Hmm. What do you think? It's fine. It just tastes like, um, a fish sausage is what it tastes like. Oh. It's not bad at all. Honestly, I'd probably dip it in ketchup, like a child. <laughs> it's the seaweed that makes it give that fish taste. But it's definitely like a sausage in the middle. Not bad for 30 pesos. Definitely need ketchup. Yeah, you dip yeah. in ketchup, right? You need ketchup. Ketchup or soy sauce. But yeah. not bad to start out. As, as you can probably already tell, we're walking around these busy streets of Chinatown and as we walk through them, we're finding these cute little shops that sell very traditional Chinese food. We'll happen to come across one that sells Chinese lumpia. Hopefully we're pronouncing it right. I think it's broth. It's broth. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, that's huge. Not expect that. Ooh. 
Mm. It looks good. Wow. You see the inside of it. So the best way I could describe this is if a egg roll and a burrito had a baby. And inside there's just like pickled vegetables with some herbs that make it taste like that egg roll. It's bomb. Oh, <laughs> yeah, guys. Okay, so I thought it was gonna be more like, more like, like a beef broth, so runnier. Nope, it's actually thick, like a, like a peanut oil. I think it might be a peanut oil. Actually, it probably is a peanut oil. It's some type of peanut oil. It's so good. It's actually really, really, really good. Guys, two for two. It's a healthy wrap. That's literally what it is. It's a healthy wrap with lots of taste, with just vegetables and quinoa in it. And it's more than worth 70 pesos. Like, easily. Also, one will fill you up. You don't need more. How much was that? It was 70 pesos. I said that seven times now. <laughs> seven times. We're really trying to sell this Lumpia. Really Show them where it's at. Actually, yeah. Right over here. <laughs> Just walking down the street, and of course, out of the corner of our eye, we spot a pastry or some type of sweet. So of course, we're gonna walk our ass over there and get it. I don't even know what it is, guys. It's like, it's like a big donut. <laughs> that thing is massive. Wait, scale it to your head. <laughs> it's like, it's massive, <laughs> massive bowl. I think there's like some powdered sugar on it. Interesting. Okay, I'm wrong. It tastes like bread you get when you go to like a pizza place. And you know sometimes they include like bread. Yeah, that's a bad. It's actually really good. It's very, very oily. <laughs> but that's because I cook it in the hugest pot of oil. But otherwise it probably wouldn't be that good. It's airy, it's light. It is pretty oily. But for the most part, it tastes like the pizza bread. But it's also only 30 pesos for this massive piece of bread. Guys, we're gonna follow the we're gonna follow the crowd. We saw a huge line here, there's no way we can't. And come to find out, they're very famous and very well known. Shanghai Fried Xiao Pao. We're excited to try this. It's like a dumpling, I think. We'll see. Ooh, these are hot. They are fresh. Fresh out of the, out of the grill. Mm. So they claim to have the most meat to bun ratio. And their slogan is 100% imitate it, but never duplicated. duplicated. So let's try this. Mm -mm. Chinese flavors in there. Look. What are those? The Chinese flavors you speak mm. of? Well, as a culinary student, there's a hint of paprika, some chives. He was never a culinary some... student, so don't listen to him. He's just trying to fluff. <laughs> <laughs> All right, your turn. In fact, the thing he knows best is probably a Lunchable. <laughs> which are really good, so I'm kind of like a culinary chef with those two. <laughs> The best ones are like the ham and cheese. The pizza one, nah, not so much. But anyway, we're gonna, we're gonna go try this now. These look good. All right, I'm gonna see what the hype is about. Not gonna lie, I can already taste the goodness. <laughs> They're so hot. Hot, 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 hot bun, hot bun, hot bun. I'm gonna take a great bite from this one. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 
How do you like them buns? <laughs> oh, these are fresh. <laughs> My throat's still yeah. burning. We've had some hot buns <laughs> before, hot buns. but uh, they've never been this good. They've never been this good. Holy crap. We've been walking through Chinatown for quite some time now. And before getting to Chinatown, a lot of our subscribers suggested we book a tour guide to kind of walk you through the streets of Chinatown, which we can see why it's a little overwhelming and you could feel slightly anxious if you're not accustomed to like the loudness. But I think for us, we've been having a great time to just roam the streets, go wander around, see what's, let's just look around, like not have any real, the intention of this is to try foods mm -hmm. and experience the, the area and we're doing that. So yeah, and also for our budget, the guy was a little pricey. Yeah. Because um, guys traveling, we're trying to stick to a budget <laughs> here. So we're, yeah. we're on that, what, what kind of budget are we on? We're on a tuna fish budget, like a tuna <laughs> can. For anybody who likes to play video games, you'll love Chinatown. Especially Grand Theft Auto, because it's literally like that the moment you step foot in the streets. Every man for yourself. It doesn't matter what direction, what way you're walking, there's a car, there's a tricycle, there's a jeepney, there's something. I'm about to take your ass out. So watch what you're doing. You just have fun while you're doing it. It's not that extreme, I'm just kidding. That sounds good. It's like a jelly buku. Interesting. So. We had buku before when we were in Cebu. We tried the buku juice in Moaboa. In Moaboa. Yep. And then this looks like the more gelatin version of it. And then he layered it. There's like a clear one, condensed milk. There's colored, blue colored ones with more condensed milk. Oh. <laughs> this is good. It's like a. What you would get on a hot day. Those noodles we see all the time in Chicago. Kelp noodles. Like a kelp noodle, but like a much better cooked kelp noodle. Yeah, just like a, like a noodle with buka juice. I get it, it's good actually. So as we explore more of Chinatown, we do notice it's set up very well actually. So like there's a home goods section, like where you buy all your, you know, toilets, all of that type of stuff for your home. And then the food area, and then like all the like fruit sec like all the fruits in one area, all the hot foods are in one area, the home goods are in one area. It's it's actually very well set up. I've never seen a Chinatown this well set up in terms of how it's divided. Alright everyone, it's that time and that's dinner time. Din din time. <laughs> Guys, one of our subscribers recommended this place and like you don't even know how excited we are to even try it. Oh my gosh. Let's just say we've been warming up our vocals. <laughs> and our yeah, dance yeah. moves because it's gonna be one to remember and I'm sure you guys will enjoy as much as we will. Let's go see. Let's go check it out. Well, first off, their menu is impressive. There's a lot, like we wanna order everything. It's impossible because there's so much, but guys, the menu, it's looking pretty freaking good. From what we've seen online, it looks spectacular. We can't wait to show you what they're about to do for us. And um, hopefully Will gets to tag along and be a part of it. He's been really, really warming up his vocals. Oh, baby, baby. Look at this I'm already obsessed. We've been here five minutes. Amazing. Like, I also have goosebumps. Girl can see. We'll see. If this is just a prelude,
this is quite the experience. I mean, where can you go and have some live singers, but also be your waiters at the same time? So this place is quite incredible, and I can't wait to see what else there is to see. They can see really well. They can see really good. <laughs> chance to order because we're just so sucked into the the vibe that they're giving off. Honestly this is such a great recommendation so thank you guys. They're not playing around like they can sing really freaking good. guys this is already like one of the best things we've ever done the waiter the waiters the cooks are all safe for you the entire thing it is it's every moment is a moment you guys it's so good we don't even know what to expect at this point but it's just it keeps getting better and better actually going to guys living for it living for the choreography living for the singing i have an adrenaline rush right now guys this is literally one of the coolest things I've ever, done, I've ever done in my life like ever the most challenging the most challenging part is finding time to eat when there's so much going on around you but all great things like no lie So cool, guys. You have to come here, but you have to. Live singing, live dancing, like you just feel good. It's a good energy and you just feel like happy. And to be quite honest with you guys, we were kind of like when we got here, we were like, we're kind of tired. <laughs> we it's drained. been a long day, we we're drained. The heat, the sun drains you, as you know. But like we got here and the moment we got here, it just felt <laughs> good energy. And everybody's happy and singing and dancing and just like it's great.
finally have a little intermission between, before the next performance. And honestly, the food is just as good as the performance. Yeah, let, let's just say we were already impressed here. But guys, the food, it's nice to know the food is just as good as the, the place. Mm -hmm. Guys, they just gave it to us complimentary. So kind. It's fried banana, banana with like a, a covering over it, and then you got sorbet and ice cream, and it looks really good. Not only did we leave Manila feeling all warm and fuzzy inside this time, but we left with new friends, lots of laughter, lots of love, and most importantly, a newfound love for Manila. Sometimes it's those second chances that prove to be more powerful than the first. And sometimes, just sometimes, you walk away thankful they happened in the first place. Manila, thank you. Yes, Manila, thank you.